Hi folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. We're still working on the 1967 Jeep M725 Ambulance. And on this episode, we're going to be installing a siren and finishing up a few of the small details so that we can take this Jeep to its first show. So that's all coming up. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps and we appreciate it. Thanks and stay tuned. So one of the fun things we want to add to this ambulance is we want to add a siren. Uh, so the sirens were not original on these uh, M725 ambulances back in the 60s and 70s. Um, but I like to put one on. It makes it really fun for parades and shows. So uh, you can actually buy some 24 volt military style uh, sirens. They are fairly expensive to come across. Um, and they are fairly big. So one of the problems with them when they're that big is trying to find a spot to stick the siren uh, and not have it in the way of everything. So one of the fun things we found is I found these inexpensive 12 volt sirens. Uh, and you can find these on Amazon, places like that. And I've put these in several of the other army trucks um, so that they work good for parades. Now, being 12 volt, uh, operating on a 24 volt system, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to tap in off of one side of the battery so that we only run 12 volts. Now, people will always say, well, isn't that bad? Because you can deplete one of the batteries uh, because as it charges, it's charging both batteries balanced. Well, this is such a small draw and we're using it very shortly in parades. This is a momentary siren. Um, so it's really not going to create that big of an imbalance in the batteries, uh, that it'll kill one of the batteries that usually happens when somebody wires in like a radio, something like that, that's going to play for hours. Um, that will create the imbalance in the batteries. This momentarily for the couple whales of it during the, the parade, no problem. So we have a spot I'll pick that underneath the hood and we'll show you where that mounts. And then also bought a momentary switch push button switch and i have a spot right next to the um the high low headlight switch uh, on the floor that will mount this makes it nice and easy so while you're in the parade you can actually just take your foot over and just push it with your toe to run the siren that makes it nice and easy and like i said i already have it in a couple of the other vehicles so we're going to get this one installed in the new ambulance uh that way they all have a good siren in the parades. So that's, that's what we're gonna work on next. So on these M725 ambulances and also on the 715 cargo trucks, you have this cutout in the passenger fender, front fender underneath the hood, where on a civilian Jeep, the battery mounted so you have this real nice inlay cut now this jeep here has the uh, gas fired heater in the cab so it does have these extra lines running across it we are going to have to deal with making sure when we mount the siren here that we're not in the way of any of those but we are going to mount the siren right here in this flat spot and so what we'll do is we'll we'll get an idea of where the bracket's going to go. That it, that way it clears the fuel line and that power line for that heater. And now we'll take the bracket off, and then we can mark so that we can drill holes to put the mounting bracket in. All right, now with the siren out of the way, we can hold this bracket up here. And mark our two holes. That way we can drill through and bolt this bracket to the fender 
and be able to mount the siren up here. Okay, now that we've marked our spots, we're gonna go ahead, take a quarter inch drill bit, and drill out our spot for our two bolts. So now we have our mounting bracket and we'll be able to mount that right in there. But next we're going to have to run some wiring. So we're going to run wires from the battery up through to the cab to the position where we're going to uh, put the floor switch. And then from the floor switch up and around here to the uh, siren. Okay folks. With a standard 24 volt military vehicle what you have is two standard 12 volt batteries so what we want to do to power this 12 volt siren is come off the 12 volt side of the battery now to figure that out we're going to look so we have the negative cable coming to this negative battery this positive running to that negative and then this positive running back to the truck so our circuit is running like that so we know if we call, tap off this back positive, we're going to be at only 12 volts instead of 24 volts off of this side. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook that power lead in off of this side right there. We now have that 12 volt power lead hooked to the battery. And we're going to continue to run it from up underneath the vehicle up into the cab to our power button so that we can hook in the siren. All right, folks, we got the wiring for the siren coming out of the battery box. And it runs the length of the frame rail up. Comes up from the frame rail, up across the firewall, and then in through one of the grommets there on the front of the firewall. It then runs over to the button Comes back out on this side, follows the wiring harness around, follows the front wiring harness up and over, and to our siren. So here is our siren button. We have it located right next to the dimmer switch on the floor. And it is just a momentary push button. And boy, it makes it nice and easy to during a praying to just reach over with your foot and lightly tap it and make the siren go. Quick little push of the button. Ah! Ah! So one of the fun things to add is a nice M16 replica. Uh, we're gonna put that in the gun mount right alongside the driver's seat and clip it in. All set and ready to roll. And while we're here on the driver's side, we're going to add a vintage fire extinguisher into the holder right there alongside the driver's seat. All locked in and ready to roll. And as we continue to get this vehicle ready for the upcoming show, we're going to set the rear patient compartment up for display. So right now I only have two of the vintage 
uh, stretchers. So we're going to set this up with both one upper rack, one lower rack, and the two stretchers strapped to them. Now I also have a nice M3 medic bag that is loaded out with all kinds of vintage medical supplies uh, in all the compartments. So we'll keep that in here and we'll have that open for display. And then one of the other things we have to make sure we remember to pack in is going to be this display sign that I make for all my military vehicles uh, depicting the data plate on the dash and so this is going to give all the nice pertinent information to the people as they walk by at the show lets them know what the vehicle is and what it's all about and of course this is the one for this vehicle and it is this Jeep was restored in 2022 so we're going to get that packed in we're probably going to have a few other small uh, military style uh, pieces to pack in here and we'll have this display all perfect and ready for display. And one of the other more interesting display pieces we have for display with the ambulance is what we like to call Nurse Betty. So I have a mannequin all set up um, in the Vietnam era, women's jungle fatigues uh, that were issued to the nurses. Um, out of all the military uniforms over the years that I've collected and I've used in displays, um, I've got to say the women's jungle military fatigues, one of the hardest to track down, especially in any kind of good condition. Um, and I imagine a lot of that is the fact of sheer numbers. Let's face it, there was far more uh, men serving in Vietnam than the ladies. So it did make it quite a bit of challenge to track down an authentic uniform, uh, but we do have it all set up. She's got accessories, she's got her stethoscope, she's got forceps, she's got scissors, um, pen in the pen pocket. So she's all set up and ready to help the wounded as they come rolling in out of the ambulance. So we'll be displaying her alongside the ambulance uh, and uh, should make a really nice display. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Green Iron TV. We have the M725 ambulance all loaded up, ready to head out tomorrow morning to its first show. So we'll uh, take the cameras along tomorrow, and we'll get some pictures and film. Uh, from at the show, we're going to take the 725, the other 725 ambulance I have, and the uh, M715, and we're going to have them all set up for display, and it uh, should make a nice show. So we're looking forward to it. It's starting to get a little bit cold here in Michigan. So uh, we'll be bundled up, but uh, the trucks will be looking good. So just thanks for uh, tuning in and watching. We appreciate all of it. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate every little bit and every little bit helps. Thank you guys. Have a good night.